Sorry about that. All right, now let me get away from these people again. I guess that was part of the frickin' mission. Which sucks. Bad. Yeah. Gotta keep my eye on that mini-map, I'll tell you that, because the law is... I've never played such a crazy mission. I thought it was so jacked up, I thought it was actually a bug. Maybe if I go get a haircut. So you getting along?
Chinese taking more jobs every day. So I know they got them small hands, but still, men's gotta eat. That is just the way it is. Would you quit following me? I'm not following you, dumbass. I'm trying to find. Morning. Allows will and our own need to take the place of sacrifice. Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, oh, physically. Dear. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? <laughs> Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but mm. I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Now I gotta go pay a bounty just because of whatever happened. Where's that stinking post office again? Hi, come. What is your problem? Sorry, bud. Good to see you again, mister. Liberty is worth every penny. Yeah, I guess. I hope you understand that I was set up, but, ah, uh, you know. Hmm, set up. Thank you. Probably got some uh, debtors to get. Let's go do this mission. I got all these notifications. Boy, look at my bright ass white face. Hmm.
got all this craziness going on. Uh, excuse me. I also got to figure out how to put my chat up in Streamlabs. All right, let's go see Dutch Master. Then we got to head back to the camp after this mission. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I offer you a ride someplace? Yeah, can you take me to Dutch? Take a pamphlet! No thanks. No pamphlets for me. Pamphlet free since 93. Homes for the blind? Lunatic! What the hell is, is going on with you? Is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Hmm? Well, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. You, mister. Truly, you're a saint. Uh, yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. That's right. Because Arthur is gangster, Arthur's rough around the edges. But Arthur got a soft part. And a nice new outfit, mind you. He's actually looking quite dapper. Still country, sort of big city looking. Do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now listen, hey, if we go in there and start shooting, shooting up the place. Right. Boy's gonna get shot. That I guarantee. Better like this. You're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place. <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? 
You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Oh, indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Let's go, get a move on. Nice of you to join me. Now, I was saying, Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Watch it! Maniac! Don't you have anything else to do? Okay. No. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Come on, man. Come on. 
find him and get the hell out of here. Mm. I think I see something. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. How do they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Look at the size of these things. Corpses in this city. Stop. Hey there, boy. Let's keep going. Someone already cleaned this one out. Shush. What? Wait a second. Wait. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had a, I had a bit to drink. Friend died. They can hear us, you know. You're still with us. Think of 
better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have a drink. You pick the right place to die, all right? Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Shit, they each got close to 20 bucks on them. That ain't bad for this game. Let's look around where they jumped us. Check that spot where it all kicked off. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. I don't want to get seen. That sucks. So all I keep doing is paying bounties. Guess I should have followed John. Definitely, huh? Oh, yeah. Shit! It's the law! Let's go! Maybe we can get out that gate! It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side. Coming this way. Get down. Fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Come on, stay together.
get back to Dutch. Get this done. Come on, Arthur. Wrong way. They did something to Dutch up there. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple on, country man. boys. This is how we screw up this town, I bet. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. What are you doing back there? Yeah, yeah, I'm following Dutch. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. Are you gonna ride with me now? You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that, for taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. I miss my little girl. to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with them. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! 
Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I'm... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. He's back, all right. Awesome. Hey, make some room for John there. Come on, are we Well, everybody, that's it. Please like and subscribe. I gotta check out YouTube here today or tomorrow and see how long the videos stay or if they go right to my channel. Please subscribe, stop by. I'll be playing again tomorrow and I have some other work I have to do so I won't be able to play too long. But until the next time, I gotta get these contacts out over and out.